This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 412. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 4 Supplemental Problems on page 12. Given the circuit in the yellow box, can you develop a model for this circuit so you could replace this by the model and predict the same behavior at the output and input terminal? Okay, let's see and figure out what's going on at these terminals. Because this is the input to an op amp, the current in here is zero, so we see no loading effect. If we have a voltage source V sub S, we're going to draw no current. Because there's no voltage here, because we have feedback around the op amp, that means that the voltage across here will be equal to V sub S. If the rise in voltage equals the drop of zero and the drop of V sub S. So there's a current flowing in here, and that's going to be V sub S divided by R1, but there is no current here. So all that current has to go in that wire back to R sub L. So the current in R sub L is constant, it depends on the value of V sub S and R1. But this node voltage here is fixed to be equal to V sub S. So let's use a voltage controlled voltage source with a gain of one. So it forces this node at the same potential this is. And then the current that flows in here will can force with a current source that's controlled by the voltage V sub S. So V sub S over R1. Between these terminals, we get the same effect. No current coming in, a forced current through the load, and then a fixed node voltage back to ground. This is called a voltage to current converter. It's using a floating load here, it's not tied back to ground. And this is supplemental problem 412.